So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week nine. If you guys don't know, we usually look at these videos at the start of the week. Uh, just to quick, quickly tell you why you're watching this now instead of Tuesdays, because I was on a little vacation and I just came back yesterday. So that's why uh, I didn't you guys didn't see the usual videos that you guys see on Tuesdays. So we're going to do these seasonal challenges and Eververse today. And then I think Monday, I'm just going to show you what Ada is selling and all that. Like basically what we did last week, which was the... Uh, uh, final call for for a lot of the stuff and we will be looking at Zer and Ada I will probably still do a Ada video because I don't want to go through the sh uh, I, I still want to go through the shaders so let me know what you guys think other than that let's get into it legendary defiance complete defiance battlegrounds on legend difficulty not hard just complete to I say not hard but um if if legend difficulty had matchmaking then it would be truly really cool because then uh, a lot of people wouldn't have difficulty with this one. Even me, I have a clan and I still have a hard time doing this because I can't call for help because I'm, I'm just like that. Favored warrior, earn favors of justice, grace, and zeal during season of defiance. Activities, bonus progress awarded for favors earned during activities on legend difficulty. You could probably just activate a defiance battleground and then just do some of these. I feel like that wouldn't be hard, maybe. Define specialist, defeat combatants with precision final blows, bonus progress awarded for the seasonal of defiance weapons. These are, and then all the seasonal defiance weapons. Not hard. I would probably, I think the only good ones like the, because mm, there's no sniper rifle, which is what I probably would use and no hand cannon, which is the other one I would use. So uh, we'll, we'll see if the, we'll see the weapons in a bit. Weaving Sunlight, Defeat Combatants, and Vanguard Playlist with a Strand, Solar, or Void Subclass equipped. Bonus progress awarded for fin for ability final blows. Not hard. Just uh, do Battlegrounds, uh, or not Battlegrounds, do the Vanguard Playlist on Strand, Solar, or Void. Um, for literally every class, all of these are fine except Void for Hunters because the melee is pretty trash. So I would probably stick to Solar. Solar has the best one for final blow ability final blows is just so good but strand's also a good choice um warp and weft in gamut defeat targets with strand solar or void subclass equipped bonus progress is awarded for ability final blows and defeating guardians um this one i still think solar is the best one for hunters uh for the for any other class that literally go, do whatever you want um strand's also good because uh you can pop your super and immediately grapple to any enemy i would probably do that as well and then calibrate kinetic energy and power weapons bonus progress against champions uh not hard at all uh wait did we even look at this one oh we did it <clears throat> uh this one's not hard just i'd probably do this in like nightfall so that way you can get bonus progress against champions that would be really really good but this one's not hard as well you probably just combine this one with uh the weaving sunlight and that'd be really good or pinnacle 1080 that's all you have to do uh or 1810 i should say not hard at all i got it just because i've been running stuff i was not chasing this i just got it like casually to be fair though i do run um dungeons week or not dungeons i run uh ron like weekly or i can if i want to because uh, i have a clan so this has really helped but you don't have to do the 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 raid if you don't want to considering we still have like the um this right here the fucking weekly pinnacle stuff that you can get you can do a bunch of stuff here i haven't even done iron banner just because again i was out of town and the setup that i had was pretty trash um you can do the gambit vanguard you can there's a bunch of stuff you can do in the game that will give you pinnacle so don't worry you don't have to do the raid if you don't want to for eververse we have uh circadian chill this is a good shade. Yeah, this is a good shader. This is a really dope shader, actually. Definitely recommend this one. It's a really cool color. And then we have Erobo's Glance. I will be making a video for this. I also already made the review for this shader. It's right here if you guys want to check it out. Definitely really cool. Definitely check it out because, again, um, it's a really good shader. It's a really bla good black shader. It doesn't look good with this one just because there's a lot of the off color. But this is the off color, and I do explain it better in that video. We have Shadow Legion Entrance. Oh, wait, hold on. What is this? Yep, this is basically the Cabal one, but purple. We have uh, Calyptra, Calyptra, which is a really cool ornament. I immediately got it because it looks really cool. And for the bottom stuff, we have Kale Factor, 
for this gun. I forgot what it's called. It's really cool. I ended up getting it because it looks cool. Forerunner, there we go. And then we have the helmets for all the classes. So for the Titans, I've already made videos for all of the classes. They're all right here if you guys want to check it out. Um, yeah, we look at how it looks, how it shaders, my thoughts on it. And we also go through uh, an example set with it as well because I think all of them are super cool. So for the Hunters, obviously, uh, we got one for the Wormhouse Crown. For the Titans, they ended up getting one for the uh, for the helmet fucking... Um, oh my God. It's going to bug me if, if I don't tell you guys immediately because uh, I'm like that. So for the Titans, it's actually for Lorelei Splendor. I'll show you guys right now, actually. This one right here looks super, super cool. Again, I've already made uh, the individual reviews for all the classes, so definitely check it out. And then for the Warlocks, you guys got this one, Don Chorus, which looks really, really cool. Definitely, definitely get it. It's so cool. And then for the Hunters, I'll show you guys since I showed the, the other classes as well. Right here. Definitely really cool. Um, and all of it shaders really well. Uh, that goes for all the classes. Uh, they all shader really, really well. Uh, we have Vice Cruiser, Synth Howl, or Synth, Synth Owl, which is basically just, uh, yeah, it's like 80s, so it's cool, I guess. We have the helmets for all the classes. I think that's the last piece you guys needed, which is really cool. And then Mandolin Insistence, which is uh, emo. There we go, Jesus. For these shaders, Golden Age Wine is the first one. Not the biggest fan of this. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. I like the colors. I just don't like the white. I think the white really throws it off for me. But white is better than another like color because then it would be pretty bad. We have Polished Sea Stone, which is a pretty cool color. It's just, again, blue blue and green always reminds me of a like, love, uh, Buzz Lightyear. Uh, Coastal Suede. I really wish I liked this color. It looks cool. I, I like I really like the blue, the dark blue, and then like the off white. I think I think it's such a cool color. I think it's just this set it doesn't look good with. And then Chalco's finery, which I might be real with you. It, it looks cool. Um if it wasn't on this, actually hold on, let me let me just do this real quick. Um let's do with this one. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm uh Yeah, let's do it with this one. Fuck it. So I have a lot of builds that I use. Just, I love, love that they, they brought builds in. Oh my God. Uh, let's leave Golden Age wine again. Um, Off color for that, it's gonna be silver. This doesn't look bad, bro. Especially with the with the purple back in the back. In the back, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, polished sea stone, which, ooh, I didn't know it had that color. Interesting. We yeah, have coastal suede. Damn, it looks cool with this. Fuck. All right, I'll fuck with that. And Chalco's finery. It looks okay. Definitely okay. It, you know, it looks pretty cool because like with them boots, they have this silver right here and then you have that silver right there as well and then silver here. It looks cool. I definitely would give it a try. I definitely would switch out some of these pieces though. So that way we don't have purple. Actually, because I have two purple um, sources, I think that would be fine. It looks cool. Let me know what you guys think. What, you, what are you guys going to be picking up? Let me know in the comments below. Again, I do apologize that... um. This video didn't come out sooner, but I, again, was out of town. I was basically on a little mini vacation for myself and really happy I'm back because we have a lot of content to go through, like a lot. We have some, dude, I, funnily enough, I did not know that tier list video was going to blow up as much as it did because, um, yeah, I just wasn't expecting it. I was just like, oh, this is going to be a fun little thing. So. I have other tier lists that I'm making because I got asked for it. We're going to be looking at the raid and dungeon armor sets, which is going to be wild. And then I probably will start with some, maybe, maybe we'll see, but uh, we'll probably look into like individual sets for the classes from like vanilla D2, Crucible Cyrus. I've been thinking about that as well. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe and I'll see you guys later.